Hello, people and bots. Grandpa Canuck here, and we are in Stationers for another tutorial. <clears throat> Today's tutorial is going to be on making your first rocket. Now, everything that you need as far as parts of the rocket is in here, the rocket manufacturer. Now, there's a lot of things in here that you don't need. If your first rocket is going to go up and scan and come back down, this is all you're going to need. If you are after launching and controlling your rocket, that's in a separate tutorial. So this is about making your rocket. Now, you're going to need certain things and not others. You will need avionics. You will need fuselage pieces. You will need a launch mount and a few others along the way. So let's, uh, let's just uh, shelf that and let's head outside. Always remember to close your helmet. Okay, we're at my Mars base today. And back here we have what you need. You need all of this stuff. Now, the first thing is the launch mount. The launch mount comes in an X configuration, taking up five uh, tiles. Now, you have to have the center tile empty and the four tiles on the four sides have to have some kind of structure. You do not need the diagonal pieces to it. Okay. You then need fuselage. In this example, there are three pieces of fuselage here. Just get this up. Okay. Just so you can see. So when you build it, at first you're going to add three pieces of fuselage. Doesn't matter what they are. They could be different sizes. Uh, there's different shapes of cones. That's entirely up to you. So this is the minimum uh, sizing that you can do for uh, a rocket, three components. Now, inside the rocket, first thing you need is this pumped gas engine. Okay, and you see it down here. This is the go-go. It must be connected to a fuel supply. So here you see I have two gas cap uh, capsule small tanks. These are in parallel and you can see they are joined down. You must have an avionics unit. You must have a battery. If it's a long journey, you're going to want more than one. But this is the most basic rocket you can put together. Okay. Now, this is a scanning rocket, so it needs a scanner and a scanning head. So the scanning head and the rocket scanner are both required. You do not need a transformer although you could incorporate one into the design. Next, you need to be able to get power and fuel onto the rocket. So you need these umbilical sockets. One for power and one for gas. Doesn't matter where they are, uh, as long as they are facing your tower that's you doing the filling. Okay. 
They don't have to be in the center. They could be off to the side. So there's essentially three locations. Left, right, and center they could be. Okay. Rocket engine. Pumped gas engine in this case. There's different types of engine. You'll find that the pumped gas engine is the simplest to work with. Fuel tanks. Battery. Scanner unit. Avionics. Umbilical connections. One for each. Wire them together. The avionics needs to have data with everything. Now, do not mix up your input battery. The only line from the input battery goes to the umbilical socket. That's it. Nothing else gets joined into that. Everything else must be joined. Okay, your rocket. You can see I have it come up, top of your tanks, the avionics, your battery out, and your scanner entry there. Okay, let's just put that aside. The other things that you need, this little tower. This is called a launch tower. Chances are you're going to need two sections to this, one on top of the other. Now you must put in your umbilical gas and your umbilical power at the same height levels to the ones on your rocket. They must match in height. It doesn't matter. Uh, these will automatically go left or right. Air tank, critical. air tank critical. I need some air. Yes, everything is live with Grandpa. I don't put unnatural situations. I don't edit out the oopses. Even my tutorials are real life situations because that's how you're going to use it that's how you're going to learn it okay so this must be having a fuel in you can see the orange line here and it runs along back to my fuel tanks back over there up on that second level so there must be a fuel in now I'm using a pressure regulator here to force it in. If you do not use a pressure regulator, when the pressure in the tank equals that in the pipe, it'll stop pumping in. This is not a pump. This umbilical. It's just an umbilical. It's not a pump. Now, if you leave this going and you detach this let's just run it there we go you can see it goes and joins and if you detach it and left this running the pressure would build up in this small piece of pipe and blow it apart believe me i think i've made every mistake you can i've made at least three hours worth of mistakes uh learning how to do my first rocket properly and that's after i watched a tutorial <laughs> Maybe I needed a better tutorial. Maybe that's why I'm making this one for you. Okay. The second thing is a designated power supply. So this is coming from um, uh, my power system. I'm using heavy cable. When I used light cable and hooked up the battery, it blew the line. So there's something in here which has having a huge draw. So I found it very important for everything that is connected on this circuit to use the heavier cable. 
So there's really four things, well, five things on this circuit. So I have the pump, I have the two umbilicals, and I have these two items over here. This is an logic uplink. Now, it is uh, connected, and the way you connect it or change rockets is this little screw right here. And it simply turns. I don't have any more than one rocket right now, so it's not going to do that. If you turn it off, you don't have connection. If you turn it on, you do. When it is built, this is not turned on. You must use the screwdriver and connect it. Your logic on your downlink, the avionics, okay, up there, has to be on. If this is not on, it can't see it. And it won't communicate, and you're not going anywhere at all. You need a computer. And in the computer, you must have a motherboard. Okay? The motherboard, right, is the rocket. The rocket control motherboard. Okay. Those are the items that you need. You must have fuel. And you want your two fuel tanks on Mars to be full. Now, you're going to have to load that with pressure and whatever. We'll go over flying the rocket in another tutorial. This one is just getting it built. The two umbilicals, power, gas. Input, power. Input, gas. Logic, uplink. Connected to the rocket, downlink. By using this little control with a screwdriver right there. Motherboard in the computer. The rocket, the mount of the rocket, three pieces of Of, uh, of, of, of framing. You can label this by using the labeler and you can call it what you want. Okay, you must have a fuel tank on board. You need two small ones as a minimum. You need the umbilicals. One for gas. One for power. The gas must be connected to the tanks. The tanks must be connected to the pumped gas engine. The power umbilical must be connected to the input of your battery. Everything else from the battery needs to be connected to all the other power sources of all the equipment. And the networking has to be all together and connected Okay, there's the rocket downlink right there in the top of the rocket. You see it? So the rocket downlink, the avionics, the battery, the scanner with a scanner head. In this case, two tanks, the two umbilicals. Scanner head, of course, with the scanner. The pumped gas engine. Three pieces of framing. And that's it. Every rocket you will make after this will be bigger, better, and more powerful. Eventually, you can fly on the rockets. You can send them out and do mining. All kinds of interesting tasks. So, until then, then... This is what you need to learn to get going to launch your first rocket.
Okay. If you have any questions on the tutorial, please, please uh, write them. Let me know your thoughts. It, like this if this is a good tutorial and it's helped you. Please like the video. And please, please subscribe if you find this tutorial helpful and you want more tutorials on stationaires. If you leave a question, the time frame of the question uh, within the video, um, the video time may be helpful in answering the question depending on how you word it. So keep that in mind. So this is Grandpa Canuck, and this is the intro to building your first rocket, a scanner rocket. We'll see you next time. Maybe we'll get this thing in flight. Wouldn't that be nice? That'll make a good tutorial. Ah, oh, sunrise on Mars. Well, I've got tasks to do. All you people take care. Be good to one another. Grab a Canuck, signing off. Bye-bye.